This is what my webcam looked like when I first started YouTube over four years ago. But over the years, I've struggled and pulled out my hair to finally get to the webcam quality where I'm at today. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. So let me show you three easy tips to get your webcam looking perfect so you don't have to be streaming Minecraft with one viewer on Twitch. Yeah, I'm looking at you, XXXLegendGamer69. The very first tip is often overlooked by beginners, but that's getting your hands on what's called a key light. As you can see here, my budget approach is just getting my hands on a floor lamp, and then I put Put an LED bulb in that floor lamp, but then it was too bright, so I put wax paper around it to make sure to not cause a fire. But you need to have a key light, and that's just having a light that's positioned about two o'clock from your face, so a little bit to the right and above, and that's a nice beginning shot to light your face to make sure that you get a better webcam quality shot without pushing your webcam to create artificial light, which will often distort the image. And if you guys don't want to do the budget approach like I did, I'll leave some links in the description down below that aren't going to break the bank. But getting your hands on a key light is absolutely necessary. So we actually haven't even turned on the key light yet so let's turn it on and the whole idea of using a key light is to make your webcam do less work because the less work that your webcam does the better quality that you're gonna get our shot is a lot brighter and it looks slightly better but it does look overexposed because there's just too much brightness going on and that's where tip two comes in which is adjusting our webcam settings so if you guys don't have webcam software like this you can just go and double click your webcam source go to configure video and then you can have your properties right here which is basically going to be the same as the webcam settings in whatever kind of software you have. Real quick though, if you open this up and you see backlight composition is on, you can disable that. You can also go and make sure that the auto exposure is off and low light compensation is off as well. Just click apply because what happens is that your webcam is working way too hard trying to produce this extra light that isn't there, which is why having a key light and good lighting around your room is going to help your webcam look so much better, especially if you're using a budget webcam like the C920. So let's go and adjust our C920 setting. So we're going to click on the C920. And like I said, if you guys don't have exact one-to-one -one of this, it's entirely fine just take the principles that we talk about and it's gonna be okay so don't freak out it's fine so since our camera mode is in default it's not letting us adjust these settings so if that's the case for you we're just gonna add a new camera mode or a preset the autofocus can be okay if you go to hold something up like this cute little cat that I have here drop a like if you want to have more of these and it's giving you issues like that it kind of took a while to do or it's just like kind of spazzing out like that and you don't like that you can just turn the autofocus off and then I just like to drag it to the left and you don't got to worry about it obviously that means if you go to hold something up here then it's not gonna focus Focus, it's part of the price you pay when you get a budget webcam. The next major one we already touched on a little bit, and that's the exposure. This is probably going to be the main culprit for giving you the worst quality in your webcam. So right now it's on auto exposure. I like turning that off and we're gonna adjust everything manually. But let me show you the difference between having a low exposure. So if we go down to low, it looks great, right? You know, frame rate's pretty good. But if we crank this up all the way up here, sure, our shot is brighter. Well, look at how awful that is. We look like XXX Legend Gamer 69. So I can keep bringing down the exposure and it's gonna make it a little bit better the frame rate's gonna come back but we still kind of look you know not so great so right about here I feel like is kind of decent so we're gonna go and adjust some more settings I'm just gonna add a new filter here so we can adjust these honestly I wouldn't recommend adjusting the brightness because if you adjust the brightness you're gonna get this nice grainy gray shot so don't touch that I really don't like messing with any of these things if you have a budget webcam maybe turn the sharpness a little bit up to give you some more definition that way you can kind of see my beard hairs in a little more detail as well as the white balance I kind of like taking all the auto things off because it's less work for the webcam to do and you just kind of drag it left and right and you can kind of make it have a more warm feel or a cold feel aka more oranges and more blues so you want to try and find what's true to your room which is right around here and then with the budget webcam I like to turn the saturation up a little bit not too much otherwise you'll look like Snooky from Jersey Shore so now you can see we have an honestly not a bad shot for the C920 which is a budget webcam and it's all from just tweaking the webcam settings so getting an even better webcam quality is moving on to tip number three which is obviously upgrading your webcam so let me show you the two other webcams that I've used throughout my journey. This is the Logitech Brio, and I use this for all my YouTube videos up until my most couple recent videos the past couple months, which is honestly my new favorite webcam, which I'll go over in just a sec. And you can see the Brio without even doing much work at all. This is all the default. Like, it looks so much cleaner. The colors are popping way better, a much wider shot, and you can go in and adjust things as well. But if you notice, and this is the one thing that really irked me when I was going through and I didn't know how to fix this, if you look very closely, you can kind of see, like, the grain, especially, like, on the carpet and on my little tapestry back there it's like these little grainy dusty sandy pixels and that's what bothered me the entire time and I've never fixed that issue until I upgraded to the webcam I'm using now which is this webcam right here and it's honestly my favorite webcam that I've ever had and it's such a clean shot and it used all the principles that we used just earlier in this videos for tips one two and technically three and one of my favorite things about it is that I can hold my hand up like this and then I can walk around and it's gonna track me all around the room if I stand up it's gonna track my face 
and it's on a gimbal, and it's my favorite thing ever. And if you guys want to check out these webcams, I'll leave them linked in the description down below. And you can watch this video right here to take a look at the webcam I'm currently using. So drop a like if this video helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.